Hi everyone! My name is Alex and I work at the St. Albert Public Library at the Jensen Lakes location and I'm here today to share a STEAM challenge with you guys. So for today's STEAM challenge, um, we have a fun little science experiment for you today on density. Uh, and it also looks really, really pretty when we're done. So it's really fun. It's called Rainbow in a Jar. And what we're going to do is we're going to use different liquids and put them in a jar in layers to make a rainbow. So um, first I'm going to go through the supplies that you need. So you will need a jar. Um, your jar doesn't have to be as big as this, but you will need a fairly large jar. Um, you're going to need all of your different liquids. So you're going to need some light corn syrup. You're going to need blue dish soap. If you don't have blue, um, if you have clear, you can use a little bit of food coloring to change the color. You're going to need olive oil. You're going to need rubbing alcohol. You're going to need um, a little bit of water, half a cup. Um, you're going to need some food coloring. And then you're going to need just some little bowls and some spoons for mixing things up. Um, and you might want a half cup measure to measure some of your different liquids. So those are the supplies that you need. And now let's get going with our experiment. So we're going to be building our rainbow in reverse because we want the last color of the rainbow to be at the bottom of the jar. So the last color of the rainbow is purple or violet. So that's what we're going to start with. So you're going to pour about half a cup of your light corn syrup into a little bowl. Um, and you don't need to measure this. Um, just if you want to, you can, but it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. So... I think I've got about half a cup there. So once you add your half a cup, we're going to make purple um, by combining two different colors from our food coloring container. So which two colors make purple? Blue and red. So we will put a couple drops of red in and a couple drops of blue in, about even amounts of both. Um, I'm just going to lay some paper towel down here. In case I make a little bit of a mess. And then you're just going to mix it up and you should get a really lovely purple color. Um, and it's actually really cool when you're mixing it because it kind of, um, the purple kind of, the colors kind of streak in it. So it's a neat, this on its own is like a fun little, pretty little experiment. So once you mix up your purple, um, you're going to carefully pour it into the bottom of the jar. So you want to try and not, um, not get it all over the sides for this first one. So I'm just going to kind of pour it straight in and then I will lift it up and show you. So I'm going to use my spoon because corn syrup is thick. And I think I got it, got it all in there. And there you can see my purple layer. So that's our first layer. So now we're going to go with our next color. Um, so technically the next color would be indigo. We're going to kind of skip indigo and we're just going to go straight to blue. So this is where our blue dish soap comes in. So like I said, if you don't have blue dish soap, you could use clear and then use a little bit of blue food coloring um, to make it blue. But I have the blue stuff, so I'm going to use it. So now we're going to pour about half a cup of this into our jar and we want to just carefully pour it along the side of the jar. If we pour it right in the middle, then we might not get the layers that we want to see. So what you can kind of do um, is tip your jar and then squirt it in on the side. And I'm just going to keep squirting until I feel like I have about half a cup. We'll give that a try. Um, probably do a little bit more blue. Try to just carefully add a little bit more blue. And you have to be kind of patient with how you're doing this. Okay. It's kind of hard to see, but I do have my purple layer and my blue layer now. 
So now for our next color. So this one is going, we're going to use our water. So I had pre-measured about half a cup of water and our next color, do you know what it would be since we're doing our rainbow in reverse, what comes before blue? It's gonna be green. So I'm going to add just a couple of drops of green food coloring to my bowl of water. You don't need much. Um, and then I'm going to mix this up. And then I have my green water. So now we're gonna add it to our rainbow, to our jar. Again, you gotta be careful to pour it down the side of the jar and we're gonna try to go nice and slow. It would probably be easier actually with a slightly smaller jar but here we go, oh, and we're spilling. <laughs> a funnel might also come in handy. I'll do it as slow as I can without spilling. Oh, and we do have our green layer. It's hard to see, but we do have our green layer there. Um, it could be a little bit bigger, I think, because I lost some in the spill. Um, it's maybe not as big as it would have been, um, but it is there. So now we're gonna do our next layer. So this one is uh, olive oil. So olive oil already is yellow. Um, so we're going to just pour it straight in. Again, carefully pouring it down the side of our jar. And here we go. And if we do this right, then it should sit on top of the water and you can see it. You can see it starting to there. I'm gonna add a little bit more so that you can really get the effect. There you can see it. So it's hard to see on the camera, but we do have our purple, our blue, our green, and now our yellow layer. So um, we're not gonna have an orange layer, um, so we're gonna go with red, so the first color of the rainbow. And for this one, um, we're gonna use our rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to open this up carefully, and um, we're going to mix this with a little bit of red food coloring in a bowl. So I'm just gonna, again, kind of guesstimate about half a cup, and I'm gonna get my red food coloring, and just a couple of drops Again, you don't need a lot. And I'm gonna stir this up. And there's my red. And now we're going to carefully pour this down the inside of the jar. So let's give this a go. Another thing that might make this a little bit easier because you are kind of having to do it carefully, I said a funnel, something like an eyedropper would work too. Um, it would just allow you to do it more slowly, um, which would be a little bit, um, which would help you get more distinct layers, but um, it did work. You can see our um, red layer right at the top. So then we have our rainbow. So we've got red, we've got yellow, we've got green, the green layer is a little small, we've got blue, and then we've got purple on the bottom. So this is our rainbow in a jar. I'm trying to make it so that you can see it on the camera because it is prettier in real life. So hopefully if you do this at home, you'll get a really pretty version for yourself. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about what happened here. So all of your layers are separate from each other, as you should see. So the reason for this is it because liquids are different weights. So it depends on how dense, which also is the same as how heavy a liquid is. So liquids are made up of molecules um, and some liquids have lots of molecules, which make them heavy. And then others have only a few, which makes them light. And so the heaviest or most dense liquids are going to sit on the bottom. So layering them from heaviest on the bottom to lightest on the top means that they stay apart in those nice layers that we saw and we get our cool rainbow. So the heaviest, the one that we did first, is corn syrup. And you can feel, even just from picking up the bottle probably, um, if you're doing this at home, that it's a lot heavier than, you know, for example, you're rubbing alcohol. 
So now um, if you've done your rainbow in a jar, you can do some more experimenting with this if you'd like. So you could try to add the layers in reverse order and see what happens. See if you still see a rainbow. Um, you could try changing the colors around, but adding liquids in the original order. You won't have a rainbow, but you might get something really pretty. Um, you could try mix your rainbow up with a spoon. So this is your science experiment. So you can kind of play around with it and you could try some different liquids too, um, different than the ones that I've used and see where they settle in the jar and see how dense or how heavy they are. So it's a lot of fun to kind of take this experiment and to play around with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment. Um, if you like this, you can visit our YouTube channel for some other STEAM challenges to do, um, or visit our website, sapl.ca, for information on all of our online programming. Uh, if you visit our website, you'll also find some great videos and books on science um, by accessing our e-resources. So there are videos on Canopy Kids, um, and on Libby, you'll find some science books. Um, one of my favorites has lots of great experiments and it's called The Mad Professor. And all you have to do is sign in with your library card. So thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you do make your own rainbow in a jar, we'd love to see it. Um, so you can visit our Facebook page um, to post a picture. So here is our rainbow in a jar. Hope you guys had fun. Bye!